Hello friends, welcome to PharmaCam Insights. In this video, you will get to know interview question and answers on analytical method validation, which will help you in your interview preparation. So let's get started. First question, what is analytical method validation? So answer is analytical method validation is a process used to confirm that the analytical procedures employed in testing meet the requirements for their intended use. It ensures the accuracy, precision, specificity, sensitivity, reproducibility and robustness of the method. Next question. Why is analytical method validation is important? The answer is, it is important because it ensures the reliability and consistency of analytical results which are critical for product quality, safety and efficacy. Regulatory agencies such as the FDA require validated methods to ensure that pharmaceutical products meet established standards. Next question. What are the key parameters evaluated during analytical method validation? The key parameters typically include accuracy, precision that is repeatability and intermediate, specificity, linearity, range, limit of detection that is LOD, limit of quantification that is LOQ and robustness. Next question, how do you determine accuracy in method validation? Accuracy is determined by analyzing a known quantity of a standard reference material and comparing the measured value to the true value. It is usually expressed as a percentage of the measured value over the true value and assessed across multiple concentration levels. Next question, what is specificity and why is it important in method validation? The answer is specificity is the ability of the method to measure the analyte response in the presence of potential interferences such as impurities, degradance, matrix components, etc. It is important to ensure that the method can accurately and exclusively measure the analyte of interest without interference from other substances. Next question, what is the difference between precision and accuracy? Precision refers to the consistency of results when the method is repeated under the same conditions, while accuracy refers to how close the test results are to the true value. Next question, can you explain the difference between repeatability and intermediate precision? So answer is, repeatability refers to the precision under the same operating conditions over a short interval of time. It assesses the variability of the method when used by the same analyst under the same equipment. While intermediate precision evaluates the method's variability when there are changes in conditions such as different days, different analyst or different equipment. Next question, how is the detection limit LOD determined? The answer is, limit of detection LOD is determined by analyzing samples with known low concentration of the analyte and establishing the minimum level at which the analyte can be reliably detected but not necessarily quantified. Next question, what is the quantitation limit LOQ? Limit of quantitation LOQ is the lowest amount of analyte that can be quantitatively determined with acceptable precision and accuracy. Next question, explain the term robustness in method validation. Answer is, robustness is the ability of an analytical method to remain unaffected by small deliberate variations in method parameters, providing an indication of its reliability during normal usage. Next question, what is system suitability testing and why is it performed? The answer is, system suitability testing ensures that the analytical system is functioning correctly before or during the analysis. It includes tests like resolution, repeatability and theoretical plates which verify that the system meets the performance criteria set out in the validation process. Next question, describe the process of method transfer. 
method transfer involves the transfer of an analytical method from one laboratory that is the transferring laboratory to another that is the receiving laboratory this process ensures that the receiving laboratory can perform the method has intended and achieve results consistent with those of the transferring laboratory it typically involves comparative testing and may include a validation report or protocol outlining the procedures and acceptance criteria next question describe a method for evaluating precision so answer is precision can be evaluated by performing replicate analysis of the same sample under the same condition over a short time period that is repeatability and under varying conditions that is intermediate precision next question what is the difference between accuracy and precision accuracy refers to how close the measured value is to the true value precision refers to the reproducibility of the measurement or how close repeated measurements are to each other next question how do you determine linearity in method validation so answer is linearity is determined by analyzing a series of standards at different concentrations and plotting the graph of response versus concentration the linearity is evaluated by the correlation coefficient r and the y intercept of the regression line next question what is the purpose of robustness testing robustness testing ensures that the analytical method remains reliable under a variety of conditions such as changes in ph temperature and flow rate and helps to identify any critical parameters that might affect the method's performance what are system suitability parameters system suitability parameters include resolution tailing factor theoretical plates and relative retention time this parameter ensure the system is functioning properly before and during the analysis next question how do you validate the range of an analytical method the range is validated by demonstrating that the method provides acceptable precision accuracy and linearity within the specified concentration range of the analyte what is method reproducibility reproducibility is the precision of the method when it is used in different laboratories often with different equipment and operators over an extended period next question what is the significance of a calibration curve in method validation a calibration curve is used to determine the relationship between the concentration of the analyte and the response of the analytical method it is critical for quantifying the analyte in unknown samples next question what is the significance of recovery studies in method validation recovery studies evaluate the accuracy of the method by spiking known amounts of analyte into the sample matrix and measuring the percentage of analyte recovered this ensures the method can accurately measure the analyte in the presence of the matrix next question what is the role of control samples in method validation control samples are used to verify the accuracy and precision of the analytical method over time they help to ensure that the method remains consistent and reliable during routine use next question how do you approach validating a stability indicating method a stability indicating method is validated by demonstrating that it can accurately and precisely measure the active ingredient api without interference from degradation products under value stress conditions example heat light and ph next question this is scenario based question if you encounter unexpected result during method validation how will you proceed 
So answer is investigate potential sources of error, review and optimize method parameters, repeat the validation tests and ensure that all procedures are followed correctly. Document findings and corrective actions should be taken. Next question. How will you validate an analytical method for a new drug substance with no existing methods? So answer is develop the method based on the chemical and physical properties of the drug. Conduct a thorough validation by evaluating all necessary parameters and ensure compliance with regulatory guidelines. Next question. How do you ensure compliance with regulatory requirements during method validation? So follow relevant guidelines, example ICHQ2R1 that is for analytical method validation. Maintain detailed documentation, conduct all necessary validation studies and ensure proper training and adherence to standard operating procedures SOPs. Thank you. I hope you like the video. Please like, share and subscribe my videos and also show your support in the comment section. Bye.